I'm always having very serious conversations. Oh yeah, you met my friend so-and-so. You had a great conversation on reparations. Like No small talk. <laughs> no. Hey Cosmo, it's Yara Shahidi and this is Star Chart. I am here with Eliza Kelly, Cosmo's astrologer, and in here is all of my personal information, which she is going to try and guess. Well, I am going to ask you 12 questions okay. in the categories of looks and life and love. Okay. And through these answers, I am going to deduce what your personality is, what your cosmic profile is, so to speak. Okay. So let's get started with looks. Got it. Heels or flats? I love the look of a heel, but I'm a sneaker person through and through, if I'm not barefoot, <laughs> like I am now. What is your go-to makeup look? Go-to makeup look? I mean, if it's just me in my room, I usually brush up my brows, put a little lip gloss on, and then a lot of it's just curls too. Like, I love it when my hair is big. That's when I think I feel most myself. What do you think is your most noticeable feature? I think my curls. It also forces me to take up space, especially in days in which I'm not feeling like taking up space. Mm, very cool. And then do you change up your look a lot? I don't know. I guess for events, we're always exploring, and I find that exploration to be really fun. I'm always in my free time drawing on my face with eyeliner and such. Wow, that is such good information. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, like there are certain things that I know I like. Like I, I love just like eyebrows groomed. I like to be moisturized. And I like when my hair is big. I love when I have bangs. Mm. So th those are some pretty consistent things. Okay, cool. Always in a tracksuit too. Except right now. To this go with an anomaly sneakers. moment. Yes, always track in suit. a tracksuit. Tracksuit and sneakers. I love it. Okay, so now we're going to go over to the life category. Okay. What does your bedroom look like? I really, Ooh. really want you to like describe it to me. Okay. It's all white for the most part. Like my bed is the center of it. I have a James Baldwin pillow and an Angela Davis pillow with like quotes of theirs. And this one really creepy monkey pillow my brother got me. <laughs> I have a lot of little things. A Buddha collection by my bedside. And usually like a lot of my crystals and my journals are all on one side. So that takes up a whole kind of little area. I have two cork boards. And so on there are usually like maybe concert tickets or photos of friends. So you're very nostalgic. Yeah. You're giving me so much good information. <laughs> when you go to a party, where do you gravitate towards? The snacks, the dance floor? Are you mm. even at the party to begin with? I like small social things, preferably. Usually go on adventures to museums with my friends or I love dinners with friends. If I am at a party, love dancing. But also, whenever I hear like what people have taken away from a party. I've always heard like, oh yeah, you met my friend so-and-so, you had a great conversation on reparations. Like, I'm always having very serious conversations at parties. No small talk. No, and it's I not feel intentional. You. I get you. <laughs> I get you. Have you ever sent food back at a restaurant? I usually don't mind sending food back. What always stops me is knowing, what was that? There's some reality TV show where they're like, when, when, the, when uh, the kitchen rebels, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and thinking like all the times in which people have sabotaged your food. Oh, like when somebody spits in your yeah. food? Yeah, and so that horrible. freaks me out at times. What does success mean to you? Mm, I've never wanted to live a self-centric life. I think just social inequities are a big deal to me in any way that I can alleviate those, whether it's through media or whether if it ends up being through policy is of the utmost importance. What are you attracted to looks-wise? And then what are you attracted to personality-wise? Looks-wise, whole oh, gamut. I can't quite say. Personality, love great conversations. I love just people who are generally passionate. It doesn't matter if it's something that I'm familiar with or not. There's nothing more interesting than an interested human, is what my mother always says. And I think that generally applies. And then last question yeah. before I weigh in my assessment. Mm -hmm. What is the fastest way to win your heart? Music is one thing. Always vibing on music and book recommendations. Podcast recommendations, if we connect on podcasts, like, whoa, already a deeper level of friendship. I think I'm ready to do this. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, this is exciting. Okay, so some of the things that really stood out to me are, of course, your interest in humanitarianism mm -hmm. and the fact that you care very much about the world, which is extremely Aquarius. So I think that we were gonna have to weigh in Aquarius somewhere, probably either in your sun or your moon sign. You also talked about music a lot, mm -hmm. and Pisces is the sign most connected to music. 
So I would also guess that you would have Pisces either in maybe Mercury, Venus, Mars, if the way that you're coming into a space, the way that you're taking action is with Pisces. Mm -hmm. But I also think that despite all of that, you also are a performer. So, you know, you don't want to live in a me-centric world, which does make me wonder if maybe there is tension in your chart where you are Leo rising and you're sort of combating that with like being out in the center, but also wanting to like help all the people and be right. out there. Okay, I'm opening up my chart right now. My friend, oh my I'm so goodness. into this. My friend actually gifted me my chart. Okay. <laughs> my sun is Aquarius. Yes. My moon is Aries. <laughs> my rising is Leo. Woo! My I'm Venus sorry. is Capricorn. And my Mercury and Mars are both Pisces. Yes! That's crazy. <laughs> that is so crazy to yes, me. Yes, we nailed it. Well, thank, thank you for being no, so open you. with your answers and making yeah. it so easy for me. <laughs> no, thank you. That's so insane just to have a conversation and then end up with a chart. <laughs> and thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Cosmo and let us know who else's chart you want to see next. Thank you. Bye. bye.